What's up guys, I'm Dimitri with Hard Rock Next. welcome to another video, two things before we move on. I finally received my RX 480 from AMD, the 8GB version, no need to peel the sticker, if you know what I mean. And the promised Vulkan API rollout for Doom is finally here, utilizing asynchronous compute shaders, which AMD has been long promising to deliver high performance gains, uh, thanks to asynchronous compute. Gaps between rendering tasks leave part of the GPU idling, which in turn reduce GPU efficiency. Asynchronous shaders provide a full solution as they operate like a highway, eliminating traffic lights and scheduling issues and enabling tasks for multiple sources to be submitted to the GPU and processed simultaneously. Simultaneously. And Vulcan is that um, spiritual successor to AMD's mantle, so let's jump into the game and see how it plays out. The Kraken X61 liquid cooler by NZXT features variable pump speed, two high static pressure 140 mm fans and beautiful user control through the cam software. Click below to get Kraken. And so the first thing to show here are all my settings, which are maxed out, enabling nightmare wherever possible. I've learned my lesson. And in order to utilize asynchronous shaders, uh, our anti-aliasing must be set to TSSAA or no AA at all. Then under the API settings, we enable Vulkan or OpenGL 4.5. And here's the first scene. This is a 1080p. And right away, we notice a 30 frame difference and almost 30 frame difference between OpenGL and Vulkan. While bumping that resolution to 1440p, the difference is just under 20 frames. The second scene is at 1080p as well. Difference here is 10 frames per second and that delta drops to about eight frames per second uh, at 1440p. Scene number three is on, and we again notice a substantial difference uh, between Vulkan and OpenGL in high 20s, and uh, 1440p results carry over with a high 15th frame difference. And in my last scene here, we see similar results with around 25% boost in Vulkan at 1080p, while around 15% boost at 1440p. And to put Vulkan performance in perspective for the RX 480, um, some gameplay averages were crunched up by Sky and Montreal to give us this graph at 1080p, which shows a nice boost for averages that is consistent with the minimums as well. And the same goes for 1440p results with a slightly lower bump in FPS percentage wise, but still it's pretty awesome to receive such a boost with a simple API change in the settings. And it looks like Vulkan is on the verge to boost AMD's presence uh, in the gaming market, especially with DX12 coming out and asynchronous compute to show massive gains for AMD and their architecture. Uh, and we're also receiving reports of their older cards, like the R9 290, receiving a significant boost in performance with Vulkan in Doom. And that's pretty awesome. And for those who own Doom, make sure to enable Vulkan to see what type of performance gains or losses you gain and let us know in the comments down below. I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks. Make sure to enable Vulkan for AMD hardware and we'll see you in next video.